Tears are filling up their glasses. No expression, no expression. Hide my head, I wanna drown my sorrow. No tomorrow, no tomorrow. And I find it kind of funny, I find it kind of sad. The dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. I find it hard to tell you, I find it hard to take. When people run in circles, it's a very, very big mess. My name is Joy Ballard. I'm a registered nurse, board certified in med surg. Uh, currently serving in a clinical supervisor position over women's health uh, clinics. Are you in favor or against mar medicinal marijuana? Like any other med, there needs to be supervision um, for medications that come with research. Um, and come with boundaries and so they need to be regulated uh, for their best safe practice uh, but as any other medication so it's not a cut and dried yes or no for medic medications that provide relief comfort care why would anyone be against things like that that I have administered and I have seen the benefits of some of uh, the marijuana um, side effects or or derivatives of medicinal marijuana. Okay, one of those is uh, called like Marisol, mm -hmm. is sometimes described as that, and has been very beneficial for providing appetite stimulation, mm -hmm. um, especially for people like, for example, with dementia, mm -hmm. um, who you might have a difficult time getting them to remember that they are hungrier to eat. Um. Christmas morning, four months after he was born, he had his first grand mal seizure. It lasted an hour long. My whole life changed. We went and got a gene test, and they told us that he had Dravet syndrome. And Dravet syndrome is the most extreme catastrophic epilepsy out there, they say. These are just some of the shots that we, that we carry with us 24-7 and they're rectal injections. It's a type of Valium. There's been times that I've given them two of these and it didn't stop a seizure before and we'd have to call an ambulance. Jaden had four days without a seizure. He was having seizures on an everyday basis. I, I have hope. You know, That's I mean, awesome. The last four days have been the best four days I've had in the last four years. I've never heard my son hum. My son hummed for the first time. Mm -hmm. And that's, I called, my, I called my doctor and told him that he hums for the first time. She goes, that means he, he's, his mind is working. Like he was making eye contact, which he doesn't usually. Hello, I'm a board certified registered nurse for the state of Texas. I'm currently working in a local hospital, the telemetry department. Okay, are you in favor or against medical marijuana? From my experience, I've seen the very positive, there's been many positive outcomes with the use of medicinal marijuana. I have personally myself um, administered to a few patients who have been diagnosed with cancer or AIDS. The, mar the marinol pill, which is a derivative THC, which is um, found in cannabis, and it does use that it's an appetite stimulator. It is an, has analgesic effects. It decreases amounts of pain. It improves their activities of daily living. They are able to participate in more plans of care more treatment, they're more active, and it's just overall good quality comfort care. If medical marijuana was legalized, would it have a positive outcome? If marijuana was legalized for medicinal purposes and proper rules and regulations for patient safety and care were implemented, then yes, there could be positive outcomes. When it comes to medical marijuana, I, I have more of a practical view than anything else. I mean, my attitude is, is that if, uh, if 
it's an issue of doctors prescribing medical marijuana as a uh, treatment for glaucoma or as a cancer treatment. Uh, I think that should be appropriate because there really is no difference between that and a doctor prescribing morphine or anything else.